The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. We have Mike from Chicago on the line, and he has a question about digestion. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. First of all, I just wanted to say that I love the show. I think it's uh, it's great programming, and I'm very much of a like mind when it comes to you know taking control of your own health and certainly doing your own research. Oh, that's so great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Hello, tigers and tigresses. This is Paige Clark and Nico DeHaan. It's Happy Friday. It's a beautiful Friday in downtown Clearwater, and we are living a primal lifestyle. We so, sure are. And we did it last night, didn't we? We sure did. Uh, while we're talking, if you want to give us a call at our toll-free number, 877-927-6648, we're happy to take your calls and answer your questions. We sure are. And yeah, we did. We had a uh, little talk at our local wonderful uh, natural Nature's food, food store, Na yeah. Nature's Food Patch. Yeah, it was a great crowd, very educated crowd, I must say, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, it was uh, pretty much uh, a packed house, really, and uh, really good questions from the people, and, you know, we kind of gave an overview of uh, what uh, what was what we call healthy food. Yeah, and I think, I think what we were doing, because uh, our talk title was, What is Health Food Today?, and we both kind of in a roundabout way, was trying to explain why uh, the paleo diet really, in effect, you come to the natural conclusion that it is a diet yeah. with the healthiest food. Yeah. And so, um, but but we kind of thought today, you and I were talking about it, maybe because um, this uh, broadcast you, is going to go out to some of the guests. You know, we're going to maybe give you some ideas. Yeah, I think what we'll do is give you some things that you should eliminate from your diet and some things that you should uh, incorporate in the yeah, diet. Yeah, five things to do and five things to get rid of. I think so, yeah. So let's start with the, the number one thing to get rid of, and the most logical always, is get rid of sugar. Right, exactly. And uh, it's the most obvious because things that are sugary, like desserts and processed snacks, and uh, you've got drinks and sodas, uh, you've got a lot of fruit out there that's really uh, heavy in sugar, and if you juice it, it, it makes it worse. So, uh, you know, uh, so ideally, uh, maybe if you use a handful of berries or something like that. Exactly, that's, that's almost as if the way the, the uh, primal man might have seen some berries and grabbed a handful yeah. and then went on his way. It makes yeah, sort of logical sense. Yeah, and the other way would be is if, uh, if he hadn't had anything else, maybe he would just gorge himself on it and that would provide him with a nice flush. Right. It would provide him with a detox in the sense because it would be seasonal. He wouldn't have it every day. If you have it every day, it wouldn't do that. Right. But if you have it once in a great while, it provides you with a great way of doing it. And naturally, you're going to be naturally eating seasonally. If they're growing, yes. if this is the time of year that they're growing, you yes. know, you're going to see them. Let me just digress for a second. Yeah. Uh, folks, you know, neither one of us are uh, medical professionals, and we're just sharing with you what we do. No, we're journalists, and, and we're reporting what we're finding. And what we're finding, what we're learning. And, and a couple of Cautionary things, though, is, of course, you should always check with your medical professional. And if you have some existing medical conditions, such as hypoglycemia or sugar or blood relation issues, transitioning to the paleo lifestyle this might really be the important. best way to do it. No and working with someone that can kind of help you learn how to know your own chemistry. Uh, same thing if you're a young kid. You know, maybe some of the restrictions of proteins and calories might not be applicable. Yeah. But other than that, uh, working and, and tweaking it, and working into this kind yeah. of lifestyle, we believe, from our research, is going to give you the best chance of yeah, having great and health. Actually, when you're talking about eliminating these foods, uh, you don't have a problem either way. Right. But if you eliminate the sugar, the number two thing is starches. Starches, because they turn to sugar. You know, exactly. starches include grains of all kinds, uh, even the gluten free. And that's so much of an issue that I see that everyone, when they think they're starting to jump on the uh, gluten free bandwagon, and then, but you go look at their cart, and it's filled with packaged and boxed and bagged items that say gluten-free, gluten-free. Remember, that's another way uh, to sell products. Yeah. Um, so keep that in mind. And even um, like white potatoes, things like that. The starchy it's a, yeah, white. Good to eliminate, and you can start entering those back in if you're a very active person, I would say. Or on a very small occasion. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Exactly. And, and, you know, it's interesting, the starchy root vegetables and the potatoes, and there's some other people that believe, of course, 
you know, the, the mineral content in, say, a sweet potato. Now, that one you could have a little more frequently, I think. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, you know, I just don't do it myself. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, a lot of people say it's it's got more fiber in it, but I don't really see the importance of fiber as much. It's insoluble. Mm -hmm. It does slow down the sugar impact, and mm -hmm. that's the importance of it, I think. Yeah. Not so much that your body needs the fiber itself. Mm-hmm. And the third one is gluten itself, right. and everything is gluten. And, you know, well, by the way, we're, we're kind of giving you these ideas. Um, uh, Nora Gadgetis, who was on our show, mm -hmm. uh, author of Primal Living, um, Primal Body, Primal, Primal, Body, Mind. Primal Mind, uh, kind of gave these guidelines. And, you know, that's not 100%. That's 99%. You know, it's, it's, it's not 99%. It's 100% because it just takes a small amount of of the gluten if you are having a sensitivity you know we know that today many people are not able to digest the gluten protein yeah and uh, it's uh, some of the gluten tests there's only a couple that really work well so if you're going to get tested do some research yourself uh, or contact us and we'll steer you in the right direction of there's some internet resources tested. there's some internet resources yeah. that kind of help you find the hidden sources yeah um, I mean a it's lot of soups you know you think you're having a soup yeah, or something it's got gluten in it. yeah. so if you're not making it yourself right. you're gonna run into problems mm -hmm. okay the next one is do not eat any processed foods and that's uh, really what the talk last night was about mm -hmm. if if it's in a package or a box or a can, if you're on a paleo diet, you pretty well know that you if know you're that. on a primal diet. Our, our ancestors were not able to, you know, go get a convenient box. And Did that's you have potato chips difference. in those days? <laughs> 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 not any flavor of that. No. And um, uh, so the only exception would be some condiments, uh, some of your uh, spices. They mm -hmm. come in little uh, containers mm -hmm. and your teas and your coffee and things like that. That would be the exception. Anything mm -hmm. else you can think of that might be an exception? Uh, you know, some some products uh, like the coconut aminos or aminos that are made from different things instead of the soy-based, yeah. uh, you know, or like MCT soy sauce. oil, which we uh, yeah. use in our coffee. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have our Tiger Brew right here, folks. That's I'm right. You, we have it every day. Um, you know, some, some vinegars and so forth. But you guys got the idea. If it's in a bag or box and packaged... Yeah. Stay away from it. And number five really is the big one for me. I mm -hmm. tell people the first thing you do, of course, is eliminate the grains and things like that. But the second thing always for me. Bad oils. Is the bad oils. Eliminate we'll, the hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated or overly yeah. processed vegetable oils. So what oils. we're t telling you really is that fats are really good for us, but only the natural fats that are in nature. Right. Not if you have to do some mechanical thing to get the fat out of it, uh, and that's all your, what they call vegetable oils, which are mostly seed oils, mm -hmm. those things are heated, mm -hmm. then they're hydrogenated in many ways, or Extruded they're using everything, you know, or they're using solvents. And uh, that's when Crisco was really one of the first things that you got, was, uh, and they gave you a cookbook with it, so you start baking things. And Crisco was cottonseed oils, not even a plant that you ate. Exactly. But it was something that they discarded, and they said, well, we're paying um, people to get rid of this. Why don't we make money off of it, and let's promote it as the new healthy way of eating because of all this facts. Well, it has great so, shelf life. Uh, yeah, exactly that, too. And, 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 and yeah. let's talk about that one. I mean, we're really in depth for a second because okay. uh, something that I think is real misleading, um, you know, the hydrogenated, where um, that's the really the That's the trans fat. fat. Yeah, the trans fat, the yeah. hydrogenated, the solid fats, um, you know, with the exception of coconut oil um, and butter. But the, the processed fats that are hydrogenated, you know, somehow or another, the government got it so that, that uh, the food manufacturers can say a product has zero trans fat on the little nutritional label. And then you look down in the bottom, and in the ingredients, you'll see partially hydrogenated yeah. How did that work? Yeah. Well, the it, way it is, is they are allowed to say zero if there is... Kind of like the 100% beef. Yeah. <laughs> right. it, I think it has to be... There. I don't know exactly what the number is, but you have to have at least 55% or 57% beef, and you can call it 100%. You can use the fillers, and that's the way McDonald's and BK and all those people can get away with saying, hey, 100% beef patty and stuff. It's if you're going to really be... So if you're going to be reading a label... Uh, read it all the way. Read the yeah. top part, read the bottom part, but my, my point is don't even be reading a label because don't read something that has a label on it. Yeah, that's true. And <laughs> here it says overly processed uh, uh, vegetable oils, the things like safflower oil, sunflower, sunflower oil, coconut oil, Crisco, Wesson, and all those other seed blends oil. They're the bad ones. Grapeseed oil uh, is typically a toxic compound. Uh, somebody asked me last night about flax seeds. Mm -hmm. Well, fl uh, commercial flax seeds and uh, the oils from there, are they get rancid as soon as you open them. 
So right. uh, I would stay away from any seed oils. And why use them in a blender or anything like that? You don't want to. You don't really want to use any seed oils. There's so many great oils mm -hmm. uh, in there. And you know, there is a lot of uh, talk. You know, I mean, that's the sad point with the flax or the hemp. If you want to get that nutrition, perhaps soaking them and then you know blending them or yeah, grinding letting them, them fine it, ferment a little bit ferment a little bit maybe yeah. then using them yeah but i mean better. if you're going to go through all that problem why just not use some good oil that's naturally i mean we save all our uh, dro droppings from our bacon mm -hmm. and uh, in fact last weekend uh, my wife ellen made some fried chicken mm -hmm. out of that and it was just incredible two pieces of chicken we were stuffed Right. And then satisfied, no snacks all night long. We ate at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a fantastic thing. So let's talk about the five things that you should do should for the do. next thirty days if you're going to if you're going to make the change. Right. What's so right. So we've got the first five that we want to avoid. Now these are things that we do want you to do. Yeah. And the first one, I think a lot of people that uh, are first exposed to the paleo diet, I uh, think you know that we eat a lot of protein. It's actually moderate protein mm -hmm. intake. Yeah, moderate. About 25% of your diet, really. And when we talk about percentages, we're really talking about percentages in energy, mm -hmm. not volume so much. So when I say 55% fat I'm eating, it doesn't mean I'm eating all in volume 55% fat. Because remember, mm -hmm. fat has much more energy than protein or carbohydrates. In fact, almost double. Right. And proteins are actually very you know, difficult for our body to break down. And we only really need a small amount. We just need to really be able to use that small amount. Yeah. And Maybe the easiest six or proteins, seven ounces. Pro easiest proteins are animal proteins exactly. for us to digest. Harder for us to digest the vegetable ones. Mm -hmm. So the second thing would be to, uh, if you're going to eat greens and vegetables, make sure they're high in fiber. Mm -hmm. Because that slows down the carbohydrate turning to the sugar. And your body is able to process this nice and slowly so you don't get that shock. So a big variety of fibrous organic vegetables vegetables and greens and right. and that you're on a good start then we can talk about later why you might narrow some down yeah. but the greens are great i right. like that and then uh eat fat eat good fat mm -hmm. and the natural occurring fats fats that aren't manufactured at all good eat yeah. as much as you want to yeah. satisfy your appetite as you learn to become a fat burner instead of a sugar burner if you can think of using sugar or the kindling as your uh, energy source. You can think of mountains and valleys, and mountains and valleys as the blood sugar. Blood sugar source, yeah. yeah, and then I like to think of filling those mountain and valleys with a reservoir of water. Isn't that, yes. that a good picture, kind yeah. of? Yeah, yeah. But that's your Hydrate fat. Yourself. That's your fat log. Mm -hmm. You know, and then all of a sudden, the peaks in your sugar level from the peak of the top to this level on the graph is less and the peak down is less and that's yeah. what the fat does and it really you know what i do is always eat the protein first mm -hmm. uh, with the fat in it mm -hmm. and then whatever you eat afterwards gets much less impact to your sugar that's so even if point. you do have something like a uh, a drink or something like that then it gets l less impacted and the mm -hmm. other two things really are when you eat your meat make sure that they're eating properly and then it's organic and pasture fed and really yeah. what pasture fed means guys when we talk about grass fed pasture fed they're eating what they were supposed to eat yeah. And then you, uh, the rest is properly great, hydrate. Yeah, great water, folks. The number here is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Please pick up my Health Signals newsletter. I got one shooting out in the web right now, and it's filled with a lot of great stuff. And we're going to talk about that next. So I will be right back. Paige and Nico on living a primal lifestyle. We're having fun here, folks. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern Time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-418. 8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com let him know you heard him on tfnn and save up to 100 dollars on a special package just for tfnn listeners act today 
you take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Nico and Paige here on Living a Primal Lifestyle. And uh, the number here is 877-927-6648, as they just stated. And please pick up my Health Signals newsletter. newsletter. In the chat room, uh, Oda was asking about what, do you, what characteristics do you look when you're baking. Well, the first thing is, of course, that the pig has to be eating its natural food. And its natural food is mushrooms and roots. and uh, Foraging in the Yeah, foraging. Uh, it can even uh, uh, get some grains that are fermented, which a lot of uh, the farmers will do. Mm -hmm. They'll put it around in pockets and let it ferment for 30 days and then send the pigs out there and they're rooting it out. The other thing you look for is how it's cured and you really don't want nitrates in there. Some of the nitrates uh, may be just salt, which would be okay. And uh, Thompson Farms in Georgia, where I get mine from, uh, uses salt to cure it. And tell and them Nico sent you. Yeah, and tell them Nico sent you. And, uh, you know, the, there's a lot of great purveyors out there. You just have to look for them and call them up and ask them what they're doing with it. That's and that's, really that's kind of along the lines of what we were, our talk last night in Nature's Food Patch was, is so, you know, we need to know what our animals are eating. You know, our, we need to eat uh, animal foods that are eating healthy plant foods from a healthy soil. Yes. Yeah, so and, you know, one of the get articles. Get to know your purveyors. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, really you know? important. And uh, buying from small farmers just makes so much sense. Then sooner or later, the big farmers will go away. If everybody keeps buying from these people, they're going to keep selling them to us. And if everybody starts switching around, they're going to say, hey, maybe we should just switch our tactics a little bit. Imagine the impact of just yeah. small changes that we all could make. Yeah. Just really, my my feeling is what if we all had a garden the size of this little table we could feed a family of four almost on this table yeah. in terms of some of the other uh, the greens mm -hmm. and then we get our 
our animal foods from from exactly right. people that are growing them. Yeah. So one of the first articles we did was uh, yeah, so what did the chicken on your signals. plate eat? Yeah, that's uh, in the Health Signals newsletter that's mm -hmm. going out right now. And a uh, great article, and it gives you some really good sources from the New York Times and from Mother Nature's network, and uh, it'll give you the links in there to, uh, you know, find out what's you know, going the, on. The, you know, coming into the fall and talking about the uh, health benefits of chicken soup, you know, there really is more to it. There was yeah. a lot of, but that was when the chickens are eating what they want to eat, what no they're supposed to eat. Yeah. And uh, the next article is on simple ways to dox uh, detoxify. Uh, we're not going to go over them. You know, look at the newsletter. There's a lot of great hints in there. A lot of them are very simple. Uh, some of them uh, you may be surprised. Uh, you know what's uh, actually going to help you, mm -hmm. and then I've got some uh, articles uh, about the Fukushima uh, radiation thing. I picked out two articles, kind of opposite of each other, and uh, you know there's a lot of stories out there that there's a lot of uh, nuclear waste being. Uh, uh, dumped into the ocean, the water's being dumped, uh, and there's a lot of maps out there. I saw one map where the whole ocean was covered with this stuff, and it uh, actually was the tsunami uh, impact map. Well, so, and this is this is what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Sometimes I truly get weary in my heart and my spirit yeah. because I listen to something and I feel, oh my gosh, I feel so passionate that, oh, that's a big concern, and then I hear someone else in his perspective. I talked with someone recently who said the caustic salt mineral content of the ocean is eating up the corexit and the oil and that, mm -hmm. that that's the actual case then on the other hand other people that admire and respect are saying no the incidence of uh iodine 131 damage by not having a well saturated uh thyroid gland with real with real iodine mm -hmm. is going to be a big risk and and i want to make a point people um you know we have certain ranges uh, of, of, I'm going to use the word pH balance, but there's more than just the pH balance in which we maximally absorb minerals. And there's a very tight window in which we can actually absorb and use iodine. And this is why I'm getting more and more in my coaching and sharing of information that I really want people to understand. It's not just about throwing a bunch of stuff at your body and seeing what sticks, because quite frankly, uh, excess nutrition can be a toxin in itself. Does no that make sense? Yeah. You know, you throw too much at it, you throw synthetic your body can't work with, but when you actually really figure out what is the healthy range at which your body can use the very best of nutrition, that's the key, and that's where I'm going. What yeah. do you think about all that? I think that's right, and mm -hmm. uh, these articles here, the second article is called Fukushima Raining Death on a State Near You, really goes into some nice depth and gives you the true picture. This is from a source I really trust, and I also put in at the end of it uh, a uh, must-see video. Uh, and this will give you a real good source, and he really breaks it down so you can understand it. So, you know, part of the whole thing is to, uh, you know, get both sides of it and make up your own mind. Mm -hmm. Next article on page 10 is detoxing from the radiation and heavy mm -hmm. metals and cleaning and restoring your body naturally, and I think that's an important thing. And there's, and there's a lot of functional foods there. Again, that's exactly. what we're Stuff looking you can at. Get rid, of, rid of. And the next article is miso, talking about a... Uh, a doctor and, uh, and his staff that were at uh, uh, where the bomb actually dropped in uh, Japan and he was feeding uh, miso every day to his uh, patients and none of them got uh, uh, the cancers. Miso so, and tempeh are okay. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> so that, uh, that doesn't wrap it up, but we'll continue this after yeah. the break and pick up the Health Signals newsletter and give us a buzz, folks. We'll be right here back. And right here. Andy Hecht, the host of the Commodities Hour, recently launched his newsletter service, the Technomental Commodity Report, and only six weeks in, Andy has already recorded a triple-digit winner. Andy advised his subscribers to purchase a long-term call option at 46 cents on July 11th, and then sent out a special update Friday, August 16th, advising his subscribers to close that position at $1.40. That's a 204% profit in just five weeks. The Technomental Commodity Report report by Andy Hecht is released each Thursday morning and right now you can get a month long free trial to this subscription while locking in the low introductory rate of only $39 a month. Andy Hecht has been a commodities trader for over three decades. Let his experience work for you. Sign up for your month long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report today at TFNN.com. 
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil's subscribers closed out a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page of TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program, The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, on TFNN. With the stock market flirting with all-time highs and volatility back, now is the perfect time for a two-week free trial to Market Insights. On Monday, June 24th, Tom O'Brien closed out all five open positions in his daily newsletter, Market Insights, with all trades being profitable and ranging from a 2.23% gain all the way to more than an 11% gain in just one position for an incredible 32.7% profit combined between the five trades. Let Tom O'Brien's years of market experience work for you. If you'd like to see for yourself what kind of trading newsletter Tom O'Brien delivers to his clients each morning, then now is a perfect time to sign up for a two-week free trial to his daily newsletter, Market Insights. In a volatile market like we currently have, the potential for fast market moves like we've seen recently is a trader's dream. So don't wait any longer. Sign up for your two-week free trial to Market Insights today at the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hello, everybody. We're back and we're talking primal, kind of going over some of the things in the newsletter. Um, Next thing is really uh, that little article I was talking about a couple of weeks ago, what is meat and mm -hmm. uh, is, is there fiber in it? Of course, it's not called dietary fiber, but there is a structure to the meat. And I think mm -hmm. it's important to realize that that structure is something that we need. And uh, it's easier for us to break that down than some of these plant foods that everybody's raving about. Oh, yeah, because we really don't have the enzymes necessarily, you know, to break down some of the cellulose fiber. That's right. In the vegetables that we're eating, exactly, and uh, particularly in a situation where um, our digestion is poor, cooking vegetables is good. Yeah. You know? And then I've got uh, how to make your own um, mayo, mm -hmm. and a little video uh, on how to do it too. So you can go to that, and it's a couple of primal recipes uh, and a instruction how to cut your tropical fruits like your pineapple and mango and stuff. Particular way of uh, uh, actually. Di dicing them up to get the most benefit and then I've got a great recipe in here and then some great exercises that you can do at home that are easy to do very very challenging and then the last pages are all our products vendors your primal reading uh, primal information alternatives to cosmetics to your uh, normal cosmetics that you might be using and the last thing is all those videos on your ancestral yeah, we foundation. hope you're all watching those ancestral yeah, foundation videos just huge it's the probably the biggest movement of pulling the whole paleo primal 
movement together. I think it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So I ran across this article uh, uh, that uh, it was from Green Med Info, and it talks about the Western diet as a lethal uh, disease, disease vector. And, uh, you know, the CDC really likes to track things like influenza and hepatitis, but the concept of your immune uh, system being impacted by our uh, SAD diet, the standard American diet, mm -hmm. uh, is uh, really not tracked by anything. But uh, there, the, this uh, website uh, really does track that, and they came up with a whole bunch of problematic actions, they call them, uh, indexed as problems with the Western diet. And, I mean, they've got a list of things like breast cancer, prostate cancer, attention deficit disorder, colon cancer, inflammation, lipid periodization, spear count and quality, uh, osteoporosis, acne, bone fractures, cardio, hypothyroid, uh, Hyper, hypertrophy. Hi, hypertrophy. And all these other ones I can't pronounce. Uh, insulin resistance, uh, liver diseases, pancreatic cancer, uh, type 2 and type... It uh, goes on and on. I what does it really do. tell you? Living in America... Living really it's a in place the, to create the disease the of your society. choice. Yeah, it's a, it's a real problem, folks. And if you're still stuck in that, and uh, they're not even really talking about fast food here. They're just talking about the Western diet that you can go to your local grocery store and get. Well, and, and what's you, the archetypical Western diet? It's characterized by GMOs. Yeah. Uh, GMO fed animals. Remember what our animals eat? Sugary desserts. Well, the first thing you wake up in the morning, you get a bowl of cereal. Mm -hmm. and you're starting out right off in the wrong thing. You're, uh, first of all, getting fat from the cereal, getting fat from the low fat milk if you're drinking or using that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're using almond milk and stuff like that, a little bit better. Still manufactured products, folks. Yeah. And you're starting off with a product that is, uh, you know, these Kellogg's uh, guys uh, started with this whole thing and uh, they promoted it as health food. It's basically junk. You might as well eat the box. I think it's better for you. Folks, you know, refined grain products, you know, and, and particularly wheat, have over 200 clinically confirmed adverse health effects. We need to think about that. Yeah, yeah, one of the things that always shocked me, and first, of course, it's the most processed food there is. Mm -hmm. And they wash this stuff with solvents. And you think these solvents are going away once you wash a product with a solvent? Mm -hmm. How'd you like to eat, get your fresh food and your banana or whatever you're eating and then wash it with some uh, paint thinner and then see if you can get that paint thinner out of there? <laughs> it's not going to happen. And this is what's happening to all these industrial fats and all these industrial foods that are being Industrial processed. grains, industrial fats, yeah. and, and it's kind of like what we were talking about last night. You know, we are 99.9% .9 genetically the same as our ancestors Indeed. who did not have access to these grains or these processed fats. Yeah. So why are we eating a diet different? Yeah. And I was watching a video, which I'm going to put in the next newsletter, and it's a, one video I've got is a guy doing a natural slaughter. Mm -hmm. So they're taking a cow and doing what our ancestors would be doing to slaughter it, and then the factory farm doing it. And then you'll see at the end they're washing chickens with solvents mm -hmm. at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so because there's so many things going on in these factory farms, they got to get rid of the germs. So getting rid of the germs to them is they're using all this uh, wash, and they, you can see it coming out of the mouth of the uh, the cow. And uh, I mean, it's just disgusting. And uh, if if that doesn't convince you not to eat that stuff, I don't know what will. Then you're putting your blinders on. So I mean, important to look at this stuff. Important to dig it out yourself so you can convince yourself that you're not going to do this and you're going to take the extra step and the extra time to do this because that's what you're doing when you're trading. You're looking at and digging deep. Am I going to lose money at this? Are you, am, now we're talking about your health, much more important than money because if you're chasing money all your life and you're losing your health, you're not going to make that exchange at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sense? that's that little saying yeah. that I always like to say. Yeah. And most people lose their health trying to gain their wealth, and yeah. then they lose their wealth trying to regain exactly. their health. Exactly. So yeah. chase your dreams, but chase the Stay health. healthy. Yeah, exactly. stay healthy while you're doing it. Yeah. Hey, here's one, um, okay. you know, came from Natural News. It was kind of a bombshell this last week. Serious chemical weapons turn out to be sodium fluoride, the same yeah. thing that's used in the U.S. water supply. I was sold so at Walmart shocked. in your baby's waters. When, I, when you sent me this and I looked at that, I goes, wow, that's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and you know, a lot of people, uh, y you know, it was actually purchased from a British company, and I remember a friend of mine made a comment, oh, did you know that those arms, chemical weapons, were purchased from an allied nation? Well, I'm like, well, of course. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah folks, um, it's just insane that we fluoridate our water. So, you know, just a little reminder that uh, maybe what we need to do, you know, they really want to get a, rid of that stuff, that, that industrial waste. Yeah. And if you remember the story, you know, industry is producing this waste, and some brilliant marketer came up with the idea that dilution was the solution to the pollution. So <laughs> let's dilute the fluoride and, and trickle it out in the water. We can get rid of it. We'll actually, hey, we'll figure out a way for these people to pay us for this. We'll yeah. tell them that it's good for them, and there we'll go. And, 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 and actually, if you follow homeopathic principles, uh, dilution is, is, is a more powerful form of getting a toxin. Did you realize that? In a homeo homeopathy, uh, a remedy is more powerful the more dilute that it is. So think about that. You know, is this tiny bit really... Um, Beneficial? Yeah, well, well, there's no benefit. As far as I'm concerned, uh, and from the research that I've seen, uh, you know, it has never been proven that there's any benefit to water fluoridation, only... Um, it can yeah. accumulate, too, and it, uh, it stays in your cells. And remember, uh, most of the things uh, end up in your fat cells where it's being stored. And then when it finally does release, that you could get a toxic flush just from that because now you've got a lethal dose that you've been storing up. So when you're losing weight, it's really important to realize what's going on. I don't feel so good on this diet all of a sudden, and I'm eating all this great stuff. Well, that's why you have to take it easy. Uh, that's why you have to really do some research. Yeah, you have to maybe contact a professional. You have to uh, talk to Paige, and uh, she'll tell you, take it slow if, you, if you've got problems. If you're fabulously healthy, you probably will not have, not have a problem. I, in two weeks, I had a couple of headaches and stuff like that, and I realized what was going on. I and I know what's happening to my body, and then all of a sudden was gone, and then all of a sudden the energy comes in. I says, boy, that's really something. Now, this other article kind of relates to, you know, what we're talking about is that they estimate that 59% of the tuna that's sold in America is not really tuna at all mm -hmm. because they're catching all the stuff and a lot of these manufacturing factory boats out there and packaging the, packaging this stuff, uh, not only in the kind cans. Kind of like the crab that's not really crab. Yeah, yeah, that that type of thing. So, and again, if it's uh, mixed with other fish and you get it in a can, you really don't know it. And then there's some people that are actually selling different fish to you. So, you know, l go to uh, the source and find out what's going on. Ask your, uh, your server, ask mm -hmm. your butcher, ask you at the fish store. I told you I went down to the fish store uh, a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. after we talked about the f radiation and Nora was talking about it and I goes, well, I better find out where this uh, salmon, because my, do I, if I have to give up salmon, I'm going to give it up. Mm -hmm. And he talked. told me, no, it's coming from uh, Nova Scotia, mm -hmm. or uh, exactly from Scotland, I mean. Well, that's still the northern hemisphere. Yes, it is, but uh, actually what they're doing, they're farming the fish. Mm -hmm. They're fa farming it naturally, so they've got these nets in the fjord, so these salmon will not completely go out to sea. They've got them trapped in there, and they'll go up and do their spawning, and they'll come back, and all the krill is there. So they're eating their natural food, their krill. They're not going out in the Atlantic Ocean. And remember, the water from the fjords flows into the ocean. Oh, okay. Okay. There is some coming back in again, but uh, most of the fresh water is retained, and mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a real good system and probably one of the safest systems. Did, we, did, I, we, did we discuss... Um, uh, the one particular uh, South American fish that I found at Nature's Food Patch, the Corvina. No, we didn't. Okay, that's a good food. You know, so you know, what Nora was suggesting, the, the idea of starting to look to the South American waters. Remember, we've got a different current system going between mm -hmm. the two hemispheres. Yeah. And well, you know, I, I did some research on this, too, because I remembered back about the whole conveyor belt where uh, in uh, around the north of Norway, the water actually drops all the way down to the sea floor, and it's one of the deepest parts of the ocean, and then comes south through the Atlantic Trench, goes all the way down into the southern oceans. So the ocean... If you're going to pollute one of it, you're going to pollute the north and the south. So I'm not so sure that Nora has done, maybe she's uh, done more research than I have, and maybe it's a slower action than I'm thinking, but I'm thinking that uh, that conveyor belt is going to, uh, 
impact the whole, all the oceans. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was just a study from University of Miami just the other day coming out that the pH of the ocean has actually been rising over the last, uh, mm -hmm. since uh, industrialization. Mm -hmm. So our, our pH is different. And what happens is, too, the, because of the melting of some of these uh, ice caps and some of the glaciers, we're getting more fresh water in there, which makes the salinity change. change. Mm -hmm. And that impacts everything in the ocean, too. And so just there's like a lot that, of things going on. As you know, the, the macrocosm is a part, you know, the microcosm is a part of the macrocosm. When we change the pH of the water, same thing, we change the pH of our bodies. We, our nutrition impacts us as well. Yeah, we're supposed to be in tune with the ocean. Exactly. Yeah. Um, another uh, article. Uh, the Joe was talking about uh, applewood smoked uh, bacon, mm -hmm. and I've used that. It's called Sunday bacon, uh, and you can find that uh, at Most even, even at Publix. Uh, it is here. a nitrate-free. Yeah, uh, it's a pretty good product. I've had it before. So uh, if you if you even uh, text the applewood smoked bacon or Sunday bacon, you'll mm -hmm. find that product. Pretty good source. Yes, true. Yeah, so uh, I came, we came across uh, Can CoQ10 Save Your Vision? And uh, CoQ10 is a fabulous antioxidant. Um, this particular article was from Dr. Al Sears, who's really kind of a brilliant doctor, I think, in yeah. some of the stuff that he says. Um, and we are not getting the antioxidant value in our foods today to prevent eye diseases such as macular degeneration. Mm -hmm. It's just the nutritional intensity is not there. Yeah. And where do we get CoQ10, which is a powerful antioxidant? Grass-fed meats. Grass-fed meat. Mm -hmm. yeah. And but there are other nutritional powerhouses like lutein and zeaxanthin, uh, which um, astaxanthin. So a lot of these not, are, in, are in seafood. Mm -hmm. um, so I really want people to understand that CoQ10 can be very important. You know, CoQ10 is really required if you're on a statin drug. If you would choose to be on a statin, which I'm not sure why you would. Yeah. Um, but CoQ10 is important to maintain the muscle and the heart. Yeah. And it's a fat. Mm -hmm. The importance of fats. Well, mm -hmm. We talk about a lot of these vitamins are fat soluble. A lot of these uh, vitamins like vitamin E are actually fat, fats yeah. that we need. So, you know, your doctor is giving you, say, you've got to take this, you've got to take that, and they may be, and you, the, you've got to be on a low fat diet. That doesn't really make sense yeah, it, when they're doing that. Really, it really doesn't. And a lot of this nutrition require fat in a diet to have proper absorption. Yeah. So they'll tell you that, well, this is a, happens to be a good fat. Mm -hmm. You're not taking much of it. That's the thing about fat. You don't need a lot of it. Yeah. So your saturated, naturally occurring saturated fats, uh, your fats from your butter, your fats from your coconut oil, your fats like the CoQ10, your omega-3 fats. Not if you're, if you're getting from vegetables, I would say it's not as good. Like the lady asked me last night, she says, I'm putting flaxseed in there because I, I need my omega-3s. Well, flaxseed from omega-3s, yes, it's in there, but your body has to do a lot of work to get it out. Mm -hmm. It has to get past that natural barrier, first of all, because it's a seed. It's a reproductive part of a plant. Mm -hmm. It protects itself. So you got to really think this out and make the logical conclusion that seed products are not good and you have to do a lot of work to get them, whether it's manual work, whether you let them sprout, let them ferment, or whether you're making your body do that. It's and about getting in-chain nutrition whenever you can. As yes. you know, that's why I love Dr. Marshall's work with Premier Research Labs is mm -hmm. most of the Nutrition products are in in chain form or fermented, mm -hmm. uh, probiotic uh, reduced, so that you can absorb them and use them. So, some tips about CoQ10: get some from the only good food source. You know, eggs, avocados, almonds, grape seeds, and sesame seeds, with the exception that you know yeah. how we break them down. Sesame seeds is one of the seeds that actually doesn't give us as many problems. Right. I mean, they're small, little, tiny seeds, mm -hmm. and they're really they're pretty good for you. And the Japanese uh, found that out years ago. That's why they have tahini and all these uh, mm -hmm. other pretty good products. Folks, uh, we still got a uh, section left, I think, uh, the 877-927-6648, right? so you can still give us a call if you wish. If not, just listen, lay back, and uh, absorb. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> On Wednesday, August 14th and Thursday, August 15th, Tom O'Brien advised his Gold Report subscribers to close out six of their nine open positions, all winning trades ranging from a 10.6% profit to an incredible 48% profit in just one equity. And all six of those winning trades had been initiated no earlier than just the previous month. 
With the 600th Weekly Gold Report issue fast approaching, Tom O'Brien brings an incredible wealth of knowledge and experience to the gold market and the equities within the industry. That's almost 12 years since this powerful newsletter first began, and right now you can get a 30-day free trial to the Gold Report by visiting TFNN.com. Make sure you're a subscriber as this volatile gold market provides trading opportunities after declining all the way from $1,900 to under $1,200 an ounce in only two years. Get your 30-day free trial to the Gold Report today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is having an open house in the Tiger's Den for two weeks, and the best part is that everyone is invited and you just have to be a member at TFNN. The open house in the Tiger's Den has already begun and will last through our week-long virtual trading competition, which ends September 13th. Use this time to exchange trading ideas with other traders in the virtual chat room and to discuss trading strategy. For all the information and to take part in the Tiger's Den open house, log on to TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different futures contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now you can receive a two-week free trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the Forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. That's right, folks, and test drive my newsletter, uh, Health Signals. Good stuff. Yes, indeed. Uh, before we get uh, going again, I want to mention that uh, I've talked about Caroline Cole before. Uh, she's in Nashville. She's a real good friend of mine. Uh, she's only Precious. 16 years old, and she just got her uh, song, which was Money to Me, uh, and she got the video. And uh, starting Tuesday, it's going to be playing on uh, Country Music uh, Television, Co Country Music Plus also. And her video right now is on the web. You can just uh, Google Caroline Cole, K-O-L-E, and put Money to Me video. And you'll find it there at countrymusic.com. Uh, she I believe is, it is just precious. And to think that and she's like 16. 16, been playing and, and music write, for eight years, folks. She's an old soul. Yeah, she's she writing these in her own songs. I mean, where does it come from? I've got some of her original music from like four years ago. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's something I can relate to. And when the 16 year old at that time, a 10 year old kid, can relate to a 60 something guy. You kind of realize maybe there's something to the idea that we've been around this track a yeah, time or two. She's, she's so amazing. So please go and support her because mm -hmm. it's really important. She's so you ran across this really neat article. Yeah, Kissing Sex and Gluten. 
Ooh, and this is from buffalotogo.com. Really Extreme cool gluten-free site. site. But uh, just to let you know, I mean, for those that have uh, celiac disease, we're seeing more and more. I yep. mean, again, reading great books like Sayer Jay's book, um, you know, The Dark Side of Wheat. We've hinted about it so mm -hmm. that maybe that can push you over the edge to why these are not health foods today. Yeah. These do not fall. But, um, you know, I, I, to, to think that people that have this kind of sensitivity, you they know, have really have problems. to have their, their, their kissy and the kissor uh, need to really Yeah, you don't worry exercise. about HIV and all that stuff. You're worried about just gluten. Gluten sensitivity. <laughs> they need to brush their teeth. The, the kissy's toothpaste needs to be gluten-free. Uh, if they're wearing chapstick or lip balm, that needs to be gluten-free. If they're wearing other makeup or aftershave, that needs to be gluten-free. So many of us that don't have that sensitivity, maybe we just don't even really notice how products are being labeled this way. But for some people, even folks... flossing. It, yeah. And, I mean, it, can you imagine saying, have you flossed? Do you have... You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> but... Um, My mother told me about you. You know, and, and you know, same thing with some people. Um, you have, you know, peanut allergies and so forth. So, you know, let's start and to And I have look. a peanut allergy. Oh, you do? Yeah, I mean, yeah. do you react... Uh, yeah, I, I moved uh, back in the early 90s to L.A. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anybody there. My daughter was there with me, but I didn't know anybody my age and stuff like that. So Sunday I'd be watching football, and I'd grab a bunch of peanuts and shells, and that's I'd be doing that the whole day. And pretty soon I became uh, allergic. I would start breaking out on my arms mm. and stuff. And I really didn't realize. In fact, I went to the doctor, and he told me I had herpes. Oh. And later I found out it was actually peanuts. Mm -hmm. I'm talking, who oh, the heck am I? Well, so, what, so stop and think about it. So what really is happening? You were using the extreme measures yes. of your skin mm -hmm. to detox something that your body couldn't handle. Exactly. You know, that's what really being sick is. That's um, exactly right. So if you've got some kind of allergy, some kind of rash, you've got to look a little deeper for where it's coming from. A lot of you don't know. And you'll be, it's easy to be di diagnosed. I mean, I thought for three years I had herpes. You know... I, as a lot of people, you know, they'll start a natural program where they're eliminating foods, and all of a sudden they'll have a reaction like that. It could be rash, and their and th their first reaction is that's that's no good for me, or whatever you're doing to me, that's no yeah. good. And I'm trying to re uh, inform people that a sickness or an illness or a detox is actually your body resetting itself to be healthy. Yeah. Getting, you know, like I said last night, it's really that simple. Yeah. Getting rid of the things you don't need. Yeah, like more the things you do need. Adjusting everything. I mean, that, that's really what we're trying to convey: is that uh, your body will adjust itself, and mm -hmm. sometimes it's going to have a little adversity reaction in the beginning, mm -hmm. and it can last for a couple of weeks, maybe three, four, five, six months, even. Yep. So, so the journey uh, is important uh, as the end result that you want to be healthy. Exactly. We want to be healthy. Yep. So eat healthy food. Eat animals that eat healthy food. And listen to our show. I think yeah. that's one way. Come and pick up my health week. signals in our newsletter. Blah, 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 blah. I guess I'm out of talking here. Have Paige, a wonderful weekend, everybody. Thanks a lot. See you next Enjoy time. Enjoy it. See you next time. What's the one thing that pulls people back from the breakthrough that they're moving towards? What's the only thing that really stops people from taking action? You and I both know the answer, and sure, we can come up with the reasons why we're not where we want to be, but the only reason that we don't do more with our life is fear. Or if you're an overachiever, call it stress. Simply put, there's something that happened to us in our past that's holding us back from the life we deserve, yet you and I are okay, we're here. So why should we let our past control our future? Exactly. We shouldn't. Hi. I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN.com, and when it comes to your trading and investing, I can help you overcome your fear of loss. Together, we'll turn weakness into strength with a system I've developed called Mastering Probability. I'll teach you how to make your money work harder for you than you do for it. I'll teach you the tools that provide financial freedom. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com, click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and begin your journey of mastering probability risk-free. It's time to become a pioneer of your future versus a prisoner of your past.